doing my best to get away from the sounds of all these trucks over there. What a beautiful rest area. Just for some reason, everybody is idling their vehicles. If it was nice and quiet, you could probably hear the insects up in the trees. Do kind of a little comparison video as I clean off the seat here at this little rest area so I can sit down. I'm going to do a little bit of comparison for color and sound between three cameras. This this camera right here, which is the Osmo Action. Got the DJI Osmo Pocket sitting right here. And over here, we have the Amazing Idol Cam, which I have been starting to really, really fall in love with over these other two cameras. Despite its quirks, the color and the, that pop that you get from the sky and the, and the grass and everything else, it's been pretty amazing compared to the DJI products. My plan is to shoot a little bit of footage with this, the idle cam, a little bit of footage with this, the Osmo Pocket, and a little bit of footage with this, the Osmo Action. Put them together, let you know which one is which as I'm going, and let you decide the color, the sound, all built in, all built in audio. Tell you the cost of each product, put description with the link in the descriptions below if you guys wanna purchase any of this stuff. And uh, yeah, just tell me what you think. Anyway, to get the ball rolling, right now we are talking on the Osmo Action. It's a sports camera that I could probably just pretty much grab, throw all the way down to those trucks down there, go down, pick it up, and it's probably gonna be okay. What a sturdy camera this thing is. It's amazing. Sound quality with the built-in microphone, not too shabby. Let's scroll on up here to the trees, see if we can get any blue sky. Ooh, there's some. What does that color look like? What is it? Am I getting blown out at all? I doubt it, because we're in the shade. But yeah, is that sky blue? There's not a cloud in the sky. That is a blue sky. Really pretty blue. Let's go ahead and take it on over to but let's uh let's toss in the osmo pocket let's check out the osmo pocket now what i really like about the osmo pocket is at the moment it has a telephone application unlike this device right here no telephone application for this just yet but it's coming but because the osmo pocket does have an application and dji has this whole system worked out pretty good you have the follow me mode I don't need an extra person out there with, a, with controlling the camera for me. It just follows me around. It's pretty amazing. This is the audio quality coming directly from the Osmo Pocket. I don't have an external mic connected. I didn't even, never purchased that little add-on feature because I always felt, at least for YouTube, the onboard audio, it's actually been pretty decent. Colors are pretty well accurate right up to the sky usually right up to that big beautiful blue sky looks pretty nice right not too bad smooth for a little baby handheld gimbal next let's uh, check out this device the idle cam I have been really impressed by the built-in microphone of this camera, the idle cam, along with the colors. The skies just pop, the little bit of few quirks this thing has. It's pretty, it's a pretty amazing camera. The one thing I actually wish this camera had that DJI products have would be that follow move feature. At the moment, like if I walk over here, it's not, it's not tracking me. It's not tracking me at all. The camera should be moving right now. I, I, I really enjoy that in a gimbal. This gimbal does not have it yet. Um, that's one big major flaw at the moment. But if you can get away with that, the stability is great. It's carrying it around. It, 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 it does. Check this out. Like I can move, stays pretty, pretty stable, and stays on me pretty much in picture. I'll be fixing software updates and as the mobile app becomes available. But at the moment, sound quality picture quality are outstanding as far as i can tell i'm gonna let you guys be the judge anyway this is the idle cam the video before that was the dji osmo pocket and the first video was with the dji osmo action all three great cameras you have to decide what you want what suits you 
at the moment I like all three bad weather this run and gun Osmo pocket got a little bit of time to set up and diddle around with settings idle cam can't go wrong with either three so far as far as I can tell the Osmo action to end out today's video this was just a quick little comparison of the three cameras that I use most of all sometimes I'll break out a phone sometimes I'll use whatever's in my pocket this is the Note 20 Ultra by Samsung. Great camera, pretty awesome, but I rarely use phone gimbals anymore. Even though telephones, their cameras have came a long way. And a lot of times they look really, really good, especially inside of a gimbal. But I've kind of merged away from telephones into this type of stuff, which is just like the next step up. It's not a DSLR, they're not amazing cameras that I use. but. They're just a step up above the telephones, I feel. I could be wrong. They're both about the same size sensors. So whatever camera you have, whether it's your phone or one of these little pocket cameras, you're, you, it's not like we're, not like we have millions of subscribers on YouTube. We don't have to get those really expensive cameras. We can just use whatever we have. At the moment, this is what I'm using. So until the next time, like I said, there's descriptions in the links below. If you want to check out any of these cameras, they are affiliate links, so I do get paid for it. It doesn't cost you guys anything more to click those affiliate links. It just kind of helps me out a little bit. Until the next time, i got to get back down in this noisy area where all these trucks are. Hop back in, <coughs> excuse me, in my truck and head on down the road. Peace out, everybody. Love you all.